Hi there, it's Rich with Richbound Photography. Yet again, another tutorial. And I'm doing the third in a series of subscribers, photos that are being sent in. And I'm going to edit them and give them a little critique. And I urge all of you to uh, please send in some photos. Uh, the instructions are in the YouTube description. And it's very important to please put your name on each file. Each image has to have your name on it and put what that is. If it's the ambient or the flash or the window. And I can probably only get to one, maybe two of your photos, but send in two or three if you want. And I urge you to send in photos that are problem photos that you really need help with because some of the photos I've been getting are just really, really well done. So. I have some photos now today, and uh, I'm going to go through three subscribers' photos, and I'm going to do one of each. And this first one is from Dylan Mitchley, M-I-T-C-H-L-E-Y. Thank you, Dylan, for sending this in. This is a great video to edit, and I'm going to show you what we have here. We have the ambient shot, and um, I'm going to tell you about each shot as we go through it. Here's the flash shot and here is the shot for the light in the bathroom. So we're going to do three different images and deal with them. So let's just get started here with the ambient shot. Now I think that the ambient shot is okay and I do want to bring up one really really important part, one thing. I uh, Sure we can all fix verticals in post-processing but uh, to be honest with you, I would love to see you um, fix this, uh, this image in camera, unless you're trying to, I don't have the, uh, the final image here from you, so maybe you're trying to do a fake tilt shift. So that might be the issue here. But uh, I would urge everybody to get your camera straight in camera as you're shooting and try and minimize your processing time. The only thing I'd do here is let's go into develop module. Only thing I would really do here is to maybe add a little bit of exposure. There you go, just a little bit. I'm going to bring down the highlights. I'm going to bring up the exposure just a little more. And that looks good. And as I've been doing lately, I'm going to add in a little bit of dehaze. It's like 24, 25 percent, uh, 25 dehaze. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's go to the flash shot. And first thing I'm going to do with the flash shot is go in and give it my full bump. There we go. And I think this is uh, actually really well exposed. It's a little bright, as you can see from the histogram, a little over in the middle. So it's about a it's about a third of a stop. Let's move the exposure down a little bit and see where we're at. This would be probably what it would be properly exposed, but I'm going to bring it up in this range now. So I think you did a great job there. The full bump kind of helped, I think. And let's go back and forth between the flash shot and the ambient shot. We actually have pretty good colors here. I'm actually just going to take out a little bit of the orange. So I want the ambient color to match the flash shot. A little red, a little orange, a little yellow. I'm trying to get it out of there. So this looks good. So I've got the flash shot. Now in the flash shot, one thing we're going to be fixing is the shadow from the ceiling fan. And it looks like um, you're putting your flash pointed forward a little bit. It looks like it's camera left pointed forward. That's why you're getting a ceiling fan shadow. So we could probably avoid that by not pointing the, f the light forward. As you can see, it's probably bouncing forward and bouncing off at the angle of incident and coming at the ceiling fan. But we can fix it with this, with the um, ceiling exposure. So you know what I'm just gonna do for this shot is go into my local adjustment brush and just add in a little bit of exposure here because that's the part I'm going to be masking in is the ceiling. Looks okay. I don't know what this is right here in the middle. 
right there. But uh, let's see here if it's in a flash. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know. It might be the ceiling. Oh, I think I know maybe what it is. Do you have your ceiling fan on in this? Maybe that's what it is. The ceiling fan is moving. Anyway, that's a no-no. We always want to turn our ceiling fan off. So if that's the case. And here's the third shot for the room. And I'm just going to leave that the way it is. So let me go here and I'm going to highlight all three of these. And uh, I'm going to edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, now one thing I want to do with these shots, I want to make sure that I align the images because I don't know how they shot. I use a big heavy tripod, Masbrodo 3046, old time big heavy sturdy tripod. So I uh, don't have many issues with realignment and I also use I'm always tethered, so I don't have to touch my camera. Okay, let's open it, bring this up a little bigger. Now let's highlight all three images. And one thing he did really good, I'd like everybody to name your file ambient. You know, it says ambient camera right, uh, camera right two foreground flash and uh, background flash. I don't know what CR2 is. Maybe that's camera raw too. But I'd also like you to put your name on these files if you can, because it gets a little complicating importing all these different people's files. So we've highlighted this. Let's go into edit and then align, auto align as layers and auto here. Go here. It's going to line up all three images and let's see how we're doing here. Uh, it doesn't look like there was any movement, so good job there. So now let's just put in the um, foreground flash first, and then I'm going to do the background flash last. Turn that off. Highlight my ambient layer. Click Option, hold down Option, and click Add a Layer Mask. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to pick a nice soft paintbrush at 6% flow up there, and I've got a nice soft brush at 21%. So let's just go up here and let's mask in a little bit of ambient. And you can see that's masking in really nice. Yeah, I think we had the ceiling fan on and I really recommend not having the ceiling fan on there. As you can see when I zoom in, looks like that's a moving ceiling fan. So we don't want any movement there, especially when we're masking in layers. Okay, let's just bring a little bit of ambient in here. There we go. A little bit over here. Good. A little bit in the other room. Okay. Oh, actually, we did have a little bit of alignment issue. You can see right here, it's got this banding around the corner. So I did need to align the layers. So I recommend aligning your layers. Okay, that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the background flash layer, click on it, and then I'm going to hold down Option, open it up as layers, and let's just add a little bit of exposure back there. Okay, bam. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's see here. And we use 6% flow, so it comes in nice and smooth. Okay, good. That added just a little bit of exposure back there, so that's good. Now what I want to do is hit X, see it goes from white to black. I'm going to erase on this beam right here. Get rid of, I masked that in, so. Oh, God, I'm going back and forth. I'm going to go paint it in now. Actually, what I probably should have done is let's just open up a polygonal tool and then go in here and let's mask this out. I'm going to put it on X for black in here and my paintbrush. And let's just erase that there. Okay, good. And let's go paint 
that's good okay deselect and I think we've got this photo good I'm not going to do my um, exposure corrections in here I'm going to do them in Lightroom I prefer Lightroom and you could do a few things let me do a critique here I think you really need to change fix this stuff I just I know you don't want to touch your client stuff but ask the agent if you can unplug this make this a little tidier I don't mind an iPad on the counter looks kind of nice but get rid of these cables. You could also clone them out, but I'm not going to do it. Um, your pillows, you could see here, are really could be used to straighten up your pillows a little bit, where you're not seeing them really in this shot, but you will see them in uh, the reverse shot of here, I'm pretty confident. So anyway, right there, I'd get rid of that. And uh, excuse me with for the uh, phone in the background. So I'm going to go back to the ambient here. And I'm just going to, I think we got a shadow here. So I'm just going to put it back to paint. So I'm going back to white and my paintbrush. And I'm just going to mask in there. You can see we, we got rid of that shadow up there. Although that was just a shadow in the reflection. So let me just get back here a little bit. Actually, I don't like that as much. So I'm going to erase that here. But I did get rid of the shadow. Okay, so let's bring this back in to Lightroom. And here we go, back in Lightroom. And let's see now. Oh, I'm having this issue again. Where is it going to? Because I'm not getting the photos coming back in where I need them to come back in. Okay, so let's just bring this here. Let's bring this. Okay, here it is. So here is my finished image right here. So let's do a couple of things. Let's now see if he might have been doing a fake tilt shift and if you're doing a fake tilt shift hold on a second I apologize I got my outlook is not uh, is not um, closing let me see force quit my outlook been having a problem with outlook keep asking me for my password over and over and over anyway let's go in and let's adjust this I'm gonna come in here and just do it manually vertical transform Let's bring this down. Let's look at that. See, I hope you're doing a fake tilt shift because if you're not, look at all this area we have to cut off of the shot to make this crop work. But you know what? It looks like you may have been doing a fake tilt shift for this view. And if anybody who needs to know more about fake tilt shifts, you can find a tutorial on my website. It's a great tool to use and it looks like there might be a little bit of distortion here there we go so I'm going to now add in a little final bump oops hold on I'm gonna do that manually my final bump corrected the uh, edit correction the uh, distortion correction so let's just do a little bit of exposure a little bit of blacks down here a little bit of clarity, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of saturation. Okay. And it looks like we're still not or vertical. So let's do one other thing. I'm going to try one thing. I'm going to try auto. Well, auto really smashed it. So I'm going to go back. I think we can do it manually better. Okay, good. So anyway, there we have our final photo. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, we have the ceiling fan issue up here. Oh, we also have, I could have in the ambient shot taken out a reflection in a TV. We could also add a TV screen back here. But you know what? I think this looks really good. And uh, I might actually, let me see if I, if I do something with the blue saturation. And look at the ocean water. There we go. No, but we're getting blue around the window. 
so I don't like that. So I think it looks fine. I think you could have done a little better exposure on the window, but that's great. So let's go up into here. Let me go back and find my... Um, so that was... Uh, Let's see, that was again from uh, Dylan. Thank you so much, Dylan. Now let's go to our next shot. And what we're going to do is do, here's the final shot from uh, Carson Poole. And this looks like it's a final shot, but we have some major issues with the final shot, Dylan. We've got some uh, barrel distortion here. Uh, we've got, yeah, this is okay here. Um, Let's see what we can do. I think we've got a little bit too much of the orange going on. So uh, let's see what we can do. So let's start with the flash shot. And I'm going into the develop module. So you definitely need to fix your barrel distortion. Let's go back into reset, make sure we're all set. Let's go to, let's go to full bump. Okay, what I would say here is to Let's increase the exposure, even though it looks good on the histogram. Okay, what I would say here, Dylan, is I think you need to have, this is um, 1 40th of a second, ISO 100. I don't know why everybody's running ISO 100. In real estate, I would run ISO 320. You know what? You could run ISO 100, 100 for a bathroom, but I really, I want everybody to make sure they get their exposure right. And I got a photo coming up later that the exposure was real low. But some of the things we're going to run into here is we've got this bad shine here, bad shine here, which that's okay because we're going to be masking in this ambient. So let's go back to the flash. Now I will say the flash is well exposed here, but I would have also done an exposure without these lights on because you've got all this warmth coming down into here. And I think what I want down here is to have this, I don't want this to be orange here. So what I'm going to do here is to take down the orange. Let's try the orange. A little bit of that. A little bit of yellow. Good. Okay. Now, we've got a really hot spot here. So this ambient image, is this ambient is going to really help this. So let's go here. It looks like you got your verticals okay, but... Let's just go into the distortion. I'm not going to fix my distortion now. I want to fix that after I complete my edit in Photoshop. But that is with it distorted, with it fixed, and here's with it, and you left that in the final image. So that's a no-no. And I don't know what this big black hole is right here, but I'm going to sure try and find out. So now let's go into the, we fixed up the um, flash shot, which looks good. Now let's fix the ambient shot, which looks good. So let's do the auto white balance eyedropper tool and let's just hit one of these sinks. I tend to, for some reason, go inside the sink. So that really helped with the colors a lot. So let's get rid of this blue. Let's just go up here in blue, saturation, get rid of that, good. Let's take down the highlight, good. Let's, um, bring up the exposure a little bit because we want to use this really for here right here so this exposure looks pretty good let's add just a little bit of warmth in here there we go just a teeny bit okay so let's take this and let's take the flash shot okay we look back and forth and I'll tell you the colors look pretty close because that's the object. We really want to get the flash shot to look, or the ambient shot to look as good as we can to make it match the flash. Okay, so now let's right click this, edit in as layers in Photoshop, and I'm going to take a sip of my morning coffee. Okay, so I really want to impress you. If you're going to send me files, make sure that you send them in Dropbox and you need to share the Dropbox folder. It's the only way I can really deal with this in influx of images. I've gotten some great response. Send me your problem child images and name your images with your name and what kind of a shot it is. Flash, ambient, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so right now let's align layers. 
So let's click on both of these. Let's go into Edit, Auto Align Layers, Auto. Okay, let's see if we had any movement here. Let's see now. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we have a good line up, maybe a little bit over here. Okay, so now let's click on the top image. This is the flash, so I'm going to put the flash below. I'm going to click now on the ambient, and I'm going to mask in the ambient. So I'm going to hold down Option, add a layer mask. Let's go in here. Okay, as I like to do, let's just fix the problem problems first. Let's go in and make sure this is white. So I'm just going to hit X. That toggles back and forth the X on the keyboard between white painting and black erasing. Let's make sure our, our brush is on 21% hardness. You can do any hardness. You can play around with it. Do whatever you want to do. Let's go here. We're up at 6% flow. Okay, so now I'm going to mainly deal with this wall right here. Let's now just mask in. And let's mask out that shine. So, yeah, the masking in is a little dark. So anyway, let's go in here. Now let's zoom in here. Let's try and see if we can make this a little smaller. Bring it in here. Okay, so we got rid of that harsh shot. Let's, oh, we're masking in more of this. It looks good. Let's see if we mask in the window. What do, what's it going to look like? I don't like it as much, so I'm going backwards. Just hit Control Z. Okay, let's look here. Now, I want to mask in the ambient here because I like the color of the ambient. Right there, nice and bright. And we got rid of that color cast. Let's see if we can get rid of this color cast too. And let me X that out and erase this because I like the flash shot better. The exposure is much better here. But let's go. I'm going to paint back in the ambient up here. That looks okay. Let me see. Just I'm looking right up here. I'm just going to turn off this layer. And you know what? I like it better with uh, just the flash in here. So let's go in there. You know, you go back and forth. Okay, now I'm going back in the painting. White. I'm just going to see if this helps back here with a little bit of the ambient in here. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm pretty happy with this. Let me just go back in here, bring in a little more ambient in here. Now, I'm going to fix it in, in Lightroom. Um, when I go back, I'm going to just expose this a little brighter. But you know what? Here we go. I think it's pretty good, so I'm going to save it. Save it as Command SW. Bring it back into Lightroom, and I'm going to go back into, here it comes. Okay, so what I need to do, gosh, I'm finding out I'm having trouble with my shots coming back where I want them. Let's highlight this, and let's go into None, and it will show up my new image. There we go. Okay, let me go back into, uh, sorry for mumbling, folks. Okay, let's bring this back into here and see. Whoops, I just did it again. I guess what's happening is, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Let me go back into highlight this shot and then go back into none it will bring in the other shot okay it's the problem i'm having is i'm gonna have to figure out how to do it i don't know why it's not showing that if you've got an explanation of why it's not coming in where it should be coming in please let me know anyway here is the the final shot from photoshop but what i want to do here is use my local adjustment brush up here on the right add in about a stop and then i'm just going to make it nice and soft and I'm going to just add in a little bit. I'm going to bring down the flow a little more here. Here we go. Okay. 
There we go. I'm just brushing in a little bit of exposure. And then once I brush that in, I can also, a good trick here is show selected mask overlay. So you can see sometimes where you're working. Okay. Now let's turn that off right there. And let's bring this up again a little brighter. And I'm actually going to do another one for down here. Just a little bit of exposure down in this corner. Okay. Maybe down in here. Just a little bit here. Okay. So the photo's looking good in my opinion. Now what I'm going to do is to turn that off. And I'm going to deal with my distortion. Okay. You can see that. And I'm going to hit Constrain Crop. And there we go. And I don't mind seeing this door in here because it shows you there's a toilet or a bathroom or something. Um, one thing I want to do is add in my little bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of black, a little bit of saturation. Let's do vibrance a little bit, a little clarity. Good. And I'm going to actually make it a little cooler. There we go. And you can add a little bit of sharpness. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, here's my image. And here is the one I was sent. So personally, I'm going to go with mine. Because if you look up here, we're dealing with blown out lights. We've still got distortion. Um, I think we could make it better. This shows a little more of the gray. So it's a little blue, but it's fine. I think it's uh, it's pretty close, especially for MLS. Um, so there you go. Whoops, wrong way. There's my photo. There's his photo and my photo. By no means am I trying. Actually, I kind of like the shadow down in here better with his. But whoops. Oh, actually, I like mine better. <laughs> anyway, so let's go to our third image right here and let me go into get the keyword back there okay and let's go into the third image okay this image was sent in by john lockwood mr lockwood thank you this is a really good example because i can pull out a few things i'll make sure it's it's let's put it in develop let's make sure it's straight out of camera so now, straight out of camera. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No reset. Sorry. There we go. Straight out of camera. Here is the ambient shot. <clears throat> here is the flash shot. And here is the final shot. So we'll compare it at the end. I think you did a great job on this final shot. Uh, I really don't think I'm going to do anything better. But I'm certainly going to show you how I did mine, and then we can learn from both of them. So we've got the, um, let's look out here. Got a little better view out here, I think. So I'm going to leave these windows more. It looks like you're masking in a little bit of ambient here, but I could be wrong. So anyway, let's get started. Let's go on the ambient shot. Now, the ambient shot, in my opinion, is a little dark. I think we're, look at your histogram. Just by increasing the exposure, let's see what we're looking at where I would have your exposure for the ambient shot. Right about there looking and without doing any formal uh, kind of uh, figuring out, I would just say that looks about the proper exposure that I would be going for to incorporate because we have nice exposure here and we have good shadows here. So you're about a stop in two thirds down, under, which, uh, you know, no problem uh, just ex increasing it in exposure, but I think all our job is to try and get everything in camera as much as we can. Excuse me, taking a sip of coffee. And, you know, we don't want, we want to do it in camera as much as we can with time constraints. So we don't want to really, we're able to do a lot of things with this masking and of ambient shot. So anyway, I would have done a bracket of ambience and I would have had, you know, maybe two stops between shots, maybe two stops under normal and then two stops over or a stop in each direction. But I think we've got this one good. 
Let's take the highlights down. Okay, so actually we recovered a little bit of that window, so that's not bad, but we're also recovering. Look in these um, blinds, we're recovering in there with the highlights out. So Lightroom in a raw photo can do magic. So let's go in here for the flash. Now the flash shot, look at your histogram, is also, I would probably say, close to the same thing. So we've got, let's just bring up the exposure. I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at my, um, histogram here. I'm just raising my exposure and looking at the image. And I would say on my calibrated monitor, I'm about there. So you're about a stop and a third under the flash shot. So I would say to bracket your flash shots until you're getting it where you, you know you've got great, great exposure in camera or just, you know, it's um, pick the shot that is properly exposed. But we can deal with this shot being underexposed, no big deal, because again, a raw image and uh, Lightroom is just amazing. And I really recommend the newest Lightroom because every version of Lightroom, don't save money, go get the CC, every version of Lightroom is worth the money. Okay, we have a few issues here. We have a bad ceiling fan. So again, I urge everybody to play in a room like this, play with your flash, point it straight up, totally straight up and about 18 inches below the ceiling. Just on this shot, I do a little bit camera right, which looks like this was done camera right, but because the shadow is going a little bit left, but you're pointing it forward, I think, because you're getting this flash shadow. And I think that if you play with it and point it straight up, you're going to be able to get shots with almost no flash shadow and only maybe just a little bit of flash shadow on this back wall. But here you've got a pretty major issue. So let's compare the flash and the ambient. Let's go back to the ambient. And the nice thing is though, we can mask in this ceiling shot because it really looks nice. This is an example where the ambient shot looks better than the flash shot. So let's just take these two and I'm gonna right click it, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And I don't need to go over all these specifics anymore because by now you've watched all of my videos and you know how to do it. So anyway, and if you haven't watched them all, I recommend spending a little time doing it. I will show you some things that, uh, you know, I'm just a guy doing photography and I'm not, a, I'm not a Photoshop master in any shape or form, but I am able to help some people with some of the things I know. So anyway, let's go ahead and highlight both of these images. Let's go up into edit. And you know how to do this. We've done it twice today. We're aligning our layers in Photoshop. Okay, now let's look at this. See, we have a, let's zoom in. We have a band around here, this checkered board band. So we can see we did have misalignment. So it was important to align our layers, especially when you're doing any kind of masking in. If the layers are not aligned, it will not look good when you mask them in. Excuse me. Okay, so we've got our ambient layer on top, which is what I like. I always recommend shooting ambient first, flash second, so it will come into Photoshop that way. Don't do your flash shot first, or you can, whatever you want to do. Anyway, I'm going to now option layer mask. Okay, so I'm going to first get rid of the ceiling fan shadow, and I know I'm on the paintbrush, I'm on the white, I'm on the 6% flow, same as before. So what I want to do is just take out this ceiling fan shadow, okay? Let's go in there. And the only issue with that, I actually like that ceiling there. Only issue with that is I am lost all the definition in the ceiling fan. So I'm gonna go into X for black. I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this and bring this up to 50% flow. And I'm just going to run this over. These feeling the feeling sand <laughs> ceiling fan blades. Okay, just freehand. There we go. Let's make it the size of this. There we go. Okay, and let's make it. I'm going to make it the size of the ceiling fan. Bring it in there and just do freehand. You know what? You don't even have to do this. I'll be honest with you. Didn't look so bad, but what the heck. 
And I just want to make a comment to everybody that, um, you know, we want to spend time on here, but we don't want to kill ourselves. So it's really about making your day. That's what I always say. And you can do as little or as much as you like. But, you know, you really just try and aspire to shoot better and you will make more money. And anyway, I'm going to hit X and come out of here. You'll hit more money and uh, you're going to enjoy your day better if you can shoot better projects, better quality. So anyway, it's not perfect, but you're getting the idea. I'm going to race it again from right here. I don't really want to spend too much time there, but it looks better in my opinion. Okay, spent too much time doing that. Now, oh, let's go here. This is the flash shot again. And, you know, one thing I'm going to do is look at this here. You know, here is the flash shot. Here's the ambient shot. So, got a little bit of uh, shadow here, but that's okay. You know, and I might actually try and do, let me open this up a little bit. And erase here back down to 6%. Let me just erase a little bit of this ceiling, uh, the ambient. Okay. Nope, I'm going to go backwards. I like it better where I was. Okay, now let's do another thing. Let's add a little bit of ambient on the front of this bed. Let me make sure I'm in white for paint. There we go. Good. A little bit of ambient up there. A little bit of ambient there. A little bit of ambient there. You know, the walls really utilize ambient well because there are variances in, in shadow and in colors and in light. Look at that. The ambient is really popping that wall right there. And let's go into here. And actually, you could have left this whole picture this just fine, but I would have definitely use the ambient to take out that ceiling fan shadow. So let's just go here and let's go paint in here, get rid of that reflection in there. Okay, just freehand, a little bit of freehand. Let me look at that. See, we look what we've done here, just with that two little things. Let's go in and look at this. This is the, the raw, uh, the uh, unadjusted uh, flash shot. And here's the ambient. I think it looks a whole lot better, especially the ceiling fan. The bed looks fine. A little bit of, you know, we didn't do much to the bed. But look at what it's doing to the um, this closet on the left. I really like that. Adding a little shadow here, natural. And look at the picture frame. There we go. And now let's look at the, um, the curtains. You know what, it just, this looks a little flashy right here, shadow right here. So we just got rid of it. And again, I could do this photo in about two minutes, less. Once it opens up in Photoshop, I could do it in a minute. So anyway, I'm now going to bring this back in. S Command SW in a, on a Mac. Another thing you could have done is taken out that electrical cable, but um, don't worry about it. Okay, let's go up in here and highlight that. I'm going to click there. So I want to see now. Okay, here is. Hold on a second. Okay, here is the. Um, The subscribers, John's uh, final shot. Okay, so it looks really good. And again, I didn't did not complain about the shot at all. I think it looks great. And the only thing I might say is, and I'm not sure how you feel about this, but because it's winter outside, we may want to add on the warmth of these lamps, which you could take a shot of the light off and the shot of the light on and mask in just the warmth of the light you want. So anyway, let's go into this. This is John's shot, and here is mine. Well, actually, you know what I didn't do? Let me go and add in my final bump, just a little bit of final bump, okay? Add in a little exposure, 
good. Now let's hit the auto align here. One, two, three. That looks good. Okay, so and let's add in a little. No, that looks good. Let's see the two. Let's compare the two. Here is mine. Here is John's. Well, John certainly cropped out quite a bit, which is fine. I got no problem with that. So let's look around here. Let's look at this closet. You know, I think they're both great. Again, I'm not complaining at John's shot whatsoever. So back and forth, back and forth. Good. Anyway, so you saw how I did it. Um, I really, I'd say maybe crop out this, um, let's see John shot, I maybe crop out this cable or take it off and hide it behind the, I have real estate agents that go crazy over cables. So if I can do it, I do it. A lot of people don't care about it. It's fine. And I, they say that's no problem with it. I might straighten out this pillow a little bit and straighten this pillow out, raise this one up a little bit. But you know what? It looks good. And I think you did a great job, John. Okay. So anyway, this is Rich with Rich Bound Photography saying, see you later. And uh, really, really uh, enjoy you guys sending in photos. So please do so. I may get to your photos. I may not. It's going to be a real tough one because I'm quite busy and I'm trying to make time to do these. So anyway, Rich Baum, Rich Baum Photography saying, send me in your photos or not and enjoy your day. Talk to you later. Send me in questions. Send me in questions. Send me in comments. I uh, try and answer them all. I may not get to it for a week, two weeks or a month, but I try to get back to you. Please subscribe and please use the link I'm using for Adorama, where if you buy something from Adorama using my link, you uh, will be giving me a little gift. So uh, I'm really appreciative of that, especially because I do all these tutorials for nothing. Anyway, I've got, a, got an alternative plan, but uh, that's coming in later. Anyway, have a great day. I will talk to you all later. Shoot smart and shoot good. Bye.